it is Megan McCain's final day on The View. She has canceled herself from The View, right? I mean, this was a, she wasn't fired. She it she was, decided to leave. Oh, a self cancellation, right? Yeah, I mean, right. it got the the amount of work she was doing was a little overwhelming. It just became too much, too much, and uh, here she is uh, defending herself from her critics who claim that the only reason why she has that job is because she was John McCain's daughter. You out. <laughs> what do you think, Megan? You come from notable stock. Can, can you relate to this at all? Yeah, I mean, what's interesting about this topic is all of our children will have the same problem, too, because obviously everyone on this show is well known. Um, look, I can only speak for myself, but every single door I've ever walked in my entire life, people automatically assume you're going to be a lazy, spoiled brat that won't contribute anything because you have famous parents. And it's something I have dealt with my entire life. Pause I no it, longer care. It. I think my work and... Sorry, I'm just saying that should be in her LinkedIn bio. Continue. She accurately my described work. herself. <laughs> and my work ethic speaks for itself. But I think people think when you have a famous family or famous parents, everything's just given to you and things are really easy. And I think when you look at people like Hunter Biden, who has shared his struggles uh, so publicly and so vulnerably, it's not everything that you think it is. Uh, the majority of people I know who have famous parents have struggled with very serious demons because every single thing you do, you're related and, and everything you do is, is going to be compared to what the famous person has done. And it's a tall order. I can never be a war hero presidential candidate. I don't think that's going to be in my cards in the future. I know it's not. And uh, people will still always compare you. And it can be something that you, you struggle with and you take home with you. And nobody's going to feel sorry for a person with famous parents. But it really isn't always what people think. In fact, it almost never is. And um, yeah, I feel bad for these kids trying to just make trying to make a movie. And I'm sure they got help because of who their parents are. But that doesn't mean the movie's crap. It's crap. And we'll see how it ends up being. Well, that's the exact point. Hold on. that. Sunny. Yeah, that's the exact point, right? Megan, it's not that you came from famous parents. It's not that you grew up with privilege. It's what you've done with it. Well, I mean, look. Or what you haven't done with it. I, 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 I yeah, I mean, I, 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 I've worked on a TV show with Megan McCain. Like I hosted a, a sort of a comedy show pilot. She came on as one of the, the guests. Um, she did what was asked for her. I will say this, that having uh, done uh, 10 network pilots, having done a, a, a sitcom that was on for eight or nine episodes, another one that was on for one episode that I was on, uh, having done TV, um, you know, live sitcoms are shot in front of a live audience. I can say that um, to fulfill the requirements in terms of what appears to be a strong work ethic in that environment is the easiest thing in the world to do. I mean, it is, um, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're good when you do it, but in terms of like a work ethic to show up and sit on the view, um, I got news for you. It's easy, but but put that aside. Maybe she has a work ethic in another context that we, we don't know about. She has a second job where she breaks bricks. There you go. But uh, so the work ethic thing aside, but the thing that she fundamentally doesn't understand is that, look, she's um, uh, decent. She's mediocre at what she does. Replacement uh, level I mean, is the sports term for that. Yes, exactly. She, he, replacement level talent. She's the a role reason player. Why she is on the uh, one of the um, highest viewed shows on television is because her last name is McCain. Period. End of story. And this is the thing that they don't that that she doesn't appreciate. There's no doubt in my mind that as the child of a famous person, you have challenges that. People who, who don't have famous parents can't really fully understand. Um, there's no doubt. 
But the fact is, is that you also, if you're going to articulate that, which I think is perfectly legitimate, you also need to articulate, I know I wouldn't be here because if it weren't for my last name, because that's right. just simply the fact. That thing I'm about sorry. like every door I've walked into, they've questioned like, guess what happens when other people try to walk through those doors, Megan? They aren't met with like mistrust of their work ethic. They're met with security guards, right? They're not right, allowed exactly. to The door slammed in their face. They're exactly. not even acknowledged. They're like, can you take out the trash? Uh, and, the, and this is the thing, like when she's talking about, I don't know what movie they're talking about. Some kids have done a movie, but people are going to be able to judge whether that movie's good or bad. But the fact is, is that if they weren't who they were, nobody would have the opportunity to judge. Nobody would judge it. Nobody so, would see it. Nobody would hear of it. It probably wouldn't be made for the most part. So she's she's referring to a movie that is being previewed now that uh, Steven Spielberg's daughter directed and is also involving Sean Penn's son and one other person, another notable person. And there was some, you know, discussion from Franklin Leonard, the founder of The Blacklist, who um, was saying, you know, it's it's obviously a, a nepotism product. And Ben Stiller, you know, another nepotism product really came and like feverishly defended like the nepotism. So I think that's where they got it from. But, you know. And this is not to say that you can't be talented, you know, if you're the uh, son or the daughter or, uh, or whatever of a well, Ben uh, Stiller, good example. Of, yes, Steph Curry. But the bottom line is, you get the opportunity. That door is open to you. Like even, even in the context of going in for an audition, they're just going to pay more attention to you. There are ways that you can manufacture that in the context of of, of an audition, or uh, you know, when you go in for something. Um, that, that don't require your uh, parents to be famous, but you get a leg up and to not acknowledge that because look, everybody has their crosses to bear. It is a unique cross to bear. If your if your parents are, are very, um, uh, uh, famous, but everybody has their own, you know, um, uh, unique crosses to bear. That may be a function of other things, but the fact of the matter is very few people have an entree who will be who, who that door is open you may have to you may have to do well when you get through that door like everybody else but you get through the door which is a huge huge roadblock that has been removed from your path and to not acknowledge that and look and to some extent this is analogous to having wealth in society yes and i've talked about uh, extensively like you know like my comedy career i don't know if I would have been able to pursue my comedy career and ultimately this uh, career without having at least the security of knowing that if I bottomed out, my parents would be there to help me. Exact same, exact same thing for me. Many people don't have that opportunity. That's not to say that I'm good or bad at what I do. I think I'm decent, <laughs> but, but the bottom line is that I had the opportunity to exploit and to, you know, put myself in a position to get lucky or to uh, utilize uh, my talent if I have some, because I had that safety um, uh, net essentially that was there that a lot of the people I was competing against didn't necessarily have, or a lot of people who I would have had to compete against, but they didn't even get into the ring because they didn't have that safety net. I mean. There are multiple barriers to entry. She is operating under the assumption that it's just like a wide open field because it's always been wide open for me. Yep. Yep. And once Absolutely. she, right. And like, oh, no, no. For everybody else, they've got to, it's like that episode of, of Nathan for you. They've got to like crawl in the little box and then there's an alligator and you've got to wear the tuxedo and then you got to get all the way through to get to the big screen TV or whatever. Like there, it, it's a lot harder for everybody else. Um, and once she's gotten through that door, she's not even good at what she does. She yells a lot. She gets very flustered and she doesn't have talent. Well, yeah, let's imagine if there was a McCain daughter who was like a Marxist and not willing to like basically defend uh, Republican inanities. Would she have that job? I don't know. No. Maybe she would. I, I, the, the bottom line is she'd have an opportunity <laughs> and nice, yeah. and and that that a, you know, um, uh, a Cedar daughter wouldn't. Uh, I mean, the. And and uh, you know whatever a Jones daughter wouldn't, um, but the, but you know to not acknowledge that is indicative of a massive problem 
that we have in this society. This is equivalent to, you know, Mitt Romney saying that, you know, it had my father, uh, father's father been named been Rodriguez. I'd probably be president now. I, I got news for you, chief. You wouldn't be. You wouldn't be because your father wouldn't have ended up being the president of the largest car manufacturer in the uh, country in the 1950s. He wouldn't have been elected governor of Michigan at that time. The, the, all of those things that brought you to this moment would not have happened. You'd just be some middling guy in some middling place. Now, maybe your great grandchildren would have an opportunity only because of, uh, you know, the wokes have decided that that should not be an impediment to uh, uh, your progress. But the, the, the delusion that they operate under, I mean, it, and, and that's not to, to minimize any challenges that they might have because of that name. You get judged. I get it. I get it. I and mean, then I think there's, you know, that's probably true. But uh, they ignore the huge benefit they get because of you know the self-agreement and like i say it's the same thing with like anybody who is privileged in society there are certain degrees in which you're privileged and not uh there are certain you know challenges associated with that i'm sure on some level um but it is it's just it's so classic because if she acknowledged this to herself to herself if she acknowledged this um then she would have to like acknowledge the fact that there is disparity outside of you know from the starting gate if you are if you grow up in a certain area code you're going to be disadvantaged if you grow up without the the the, the resources if you grow up in um low income if you uh if you're going to be disadvantaged that's just and then all of a sudden you have to say like well okay if we're going to actually live this sort of meritocracy i've pretended exists in my 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 brain uh then we need to sort of even the playing field as people enter it like we need to we need to even the playing field we need to open the doors to everybody on the playing field it's much easier to succeed if you have already eliminated um you know if you're only gonna if you're going to uh, baseball tryouts and you're only allowing uh, 11 people on the field and they're looking for a team of nine, you're, you have a much better chance of making that team than if they let 100 people in. And that's the thing she doesn't understand. And that also goes to the rod of like unpaid internships as an example is like, is like, and, and like, you know, coming, I, you know, it's a similar, I, I was able to like, because of similar, like to what you're saying, Sam, like because of my, you know, socioeconomic background, I had the luxury of being able to like work for free and be able to pay for food and transport without having any of that even remotely subsidized it just it literally creates a crust an upper crust of people who can work for nothing or actually work for net less money because people actually with different socioeconomic standings can't just simply can't do that they actually just cannot have that experience without having money to subsidize their lives ah <sighs> she'll be missed who are they going to put on instead of her? is it going to be abby hunter or is it going to be huntsman I don't know. or is it going to be um is it going to be Menendez's daughter or is it going to be uh, Chelsea Clinton? Who is, do mm -hmm. we know who he's going to put on there? Or is it? Chelsea's a good bet. They're going to put on a conservative. It's, it's tough, though, to find a conservative. Abby Ted, Cruz, boring. Ted Cruz have a daughter? I think so. They're really young. They're like, they're like. Remember, they, 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 oh, find yeah, him, right. they find him repulsive, right? Yeah. Yeah, the ones yeah. from the forced uh, dinner ad. <laughs> Folks, there's more of what you've just saw where that came from. That's if you hit the subscribe and like button. Thank you. Really, thank you.